Good morning everyone and welcome back to Gillian at Mystic Healing Therapies. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is how do we maintain that fifth dimensional energy? So you know we're talking a lot about 5D, 3D etc. So I'm just going to share some of the things I do to help me stay in a 5D energy space because you know I'm recording this on the 24th of February 2022 there's a lot going on if we tune into social media or media there's a lot going on so how do I maintain what can I do to help maintain that fifth dimensional space so firstly um, I, I work with two dragons and a unicorn so what I do every morning is thank my dragons and my unicorn for working with me. So I honour them and thank them and thank them for all the work that they're doing in the universe. But also I ask them to help me to maintain my energy levels at a 5D space. So it's a clear intention set every morning. Firstly, I thank them and honour them and then ask them to help me stay in a fifth dimensional space. So what are some other practical skills we can do? Firstly, we need to focus on where we do want to go in life. You know, there's a lot of distraction out there at the moment, a lot of fear circulating, a lot of uncertainty. So how do we navigate that? Well, the best way is to be very discerning about what we consume. So just like we wouldn't sit, well, I certainly wouldn't choose to sit eating junk food all day because I wouldn't want that to um, impact on my body in that way. Equally, I don't want to consume low vibrational energy news. So I'm very discerning. You know, we, we can be very careful about what we put into our bodies, but then consume junk junk news all day which is only going to lower our vibration and not be helpful at all so you know it's about being discerning about what we're consuming you know we've all got iphones or not iphones smartphones nowadays and they've all got news apps on personally i've disabled all my news apps i don't want bad news flashing into me every two minutes because as a psychotherapist i know the impact that having exposure to this will impact on our flight and fight response and put us in a perpetual state of anxiety so personally i've disabled all those news apps i'm very careful what i consume as as a consumer of news and mainstream i don't look at mainstream for example and i am very discerning about the news i take in and i try to be quite objective rather than just taking everything at face value and just to add that when i was learning to drive I remember my driving instructor saying to me focus on where you do want to go on the road never put your focus of attention on where you don't want to go because you'll go there by mistake he said to me always focus on where you want to go and I think that's a really perfect analogy for life so at the moment there's an awful lot that can pull us into oh my goodness this might happen that might happen the other might happen but personally I'm focusing on what I want out of you know this change in energy frequency I want you know I want to be living in a harmonious authentic life so that's where I put my energy you know um, I do appreciate that there's a lot of people that are really seeing at the moment the structures of the 3d matrix fall and it's causing them a lot of anxiety but personally I just accept that the 3d matrix has to fall so you know the systems as we know it be it the banking systems the education systems the healthcare systems the government systems it all looks like it's havoc going on but me personally I'm seeing that this is a good thing because they need to break down so that we can build the five-dimensional life so I'm not necessarily getting stuck in the details of what's going on I'm more focusing on okay this is what I want um, this is what I want to manifest because remember and this is a really crucial thing that all of us every single human being on this planet as a divine creator being so we've all got the capability of manifesting and creating our own lives our own destiny our own reality but you know we've been taught over the years like hundreds of years that's been dumbed down you know the system's not wanted us to set in us to step into our own creative power because they want us to be reliant on them so that we are subservient and you know uncontrolled unconscious robots really but 
you know, I want to send the message out that you listen, everybody, every human being, and especially, you know, if you listen to videos like this, you might have taken a step further on the path. And I'm just want to reiterate that we're all divine creators. So if you focus your energy on what you do want, you're going to attract that into your life rather than sitting on the sort of lower vibration of oh my goodness this is happening oh my goodness that's happening that isn't going to serve you well that's just going to keep you in three-dimensional energy so another tip a few other tips that i do for example this is just part of my life if i'm walking around this beautiful countryside here what i will do is make a connection with everything i see so i see trees and I'll say thank you for being here trees because I honour the energy that they hold. I honour the wisdom and the energy that they've hold, held for hundreds of years some of them so I will thank them and as I go past them I'll thank them and bring in blessings. If I see a little bird or birds I'll say thank you for being here birds I love you. Um, me and my son do this funny thing when we see horses we send unicorn blessings to them so you know my journey to work I'm saying I love you unicorn blessings and this helps to stay in the five dimensional energy you know it might you might think that I'm a crazy woman but I'm guaranteeing you in the next coming years when we're in fifth dimensional energy this will be a normal part of everyday life everybody will be sending unicorn blessings everybody will be thanking the trees for the wisdom this will be a normal part of daily life but it really helps you to maintain the 5d energy another thing yesterday i was out on a run and i saw a little blackbird that unfortunately had got killed by the roadside so i picked it up beautiful creature when you see them close up beautiful black feathers and vibrant orange eyes and beak but i honored that blackbird's life i honored it and said thank you for being here i love you put it by the road put it on some grass unfortunately there weren't any flowers but i sent it an energetic flower because that will help its transition and i asked that it would be sent back to you know the collective of the blackbirds so this is just a little snapshot of how i live my life in the 5d energy and you know it's open to all of us it's not just a magical thing that certain people can access so i really want to empower everybody to say you can all step into this dimensional energy but what you want to do is focus on the highest and best gratitude is also really important appreciate what you have send gratitude for all around you and then you will naturally open up to the flow of 5d energy but again just getting back to that we want to stay out of 3d news 3d media 3d fear porn stay away from all that it's not serving you all it's doing is bringing your vibration down like i say i'm not saying bury your head in the sand and pretend nothing's happening because that's not that's irresponsible in some ways as well because we need to know what's happening so we can put the countermeasures in so i hope you found that helpful and um i'll be in touch see you soon and thanks for watching these videos and thanks for the comments that people have been giving me as well so lots of love to you all and happy 5d bye